Hi guys, welcome to my mid-November reset. I know most of these videos come out around November 1st or a little bit earlier, but uh, if I'm being honest, we're a couple weeks into November already, but I decided I still want to do a November reset. I haven't done one since October, and I feel like I've kind of like fallen off the wagon. I needed a break just because I feel like I wasn't getting the goals done, and then a lot was happening at that time of my life. <laughs> um, if you didn't know, I had my gallbladder removed, so I had my mom come over, my in-laws come over to like help with the baby and all that good stuff. Um, I might talk about it in like a later vlog, but yeah, so I didn't really have the time or energy to put it into my goals and stuff. So I want to get back into it. It's November, so I feel like I want to end the year strong. Um, we still have time to do that. So here I am with my mid-November reset. So I already had my coffee this morning and I'm just kind of thirsty, honestly. So I got my glass of a water. I love this cup. I got it at Marshall's um, during like the springtime and it's just so cute. I got two. The original plan for this video was to do it like a really laid back um, video. But now that I look at my goals that I wrote down a few minutes ago, it looks like there's a lot. <laughs> um, but I'm kind of just going to go over it with you guys and I'll put like a little screenshot over here. I'm not going to go over my October goals because I just feel like it was so long ago and I got new goals coming. I want to start fresh um, and I probably didn't meet most of them, if I'm being honest, with everything that was going on. So we're just starting fresh with November. So yeah, let's just move on to my November goals. And I did write down my goals on paper. I do enjoy writing it like by pen and paper, but I also like the digital aspect of it. But I feel like I'm doing too much doing both or not that I'm doing too much, but I just don't have the time. So for right now, at least for this month, I'm going to stick to this. Maybe I'll try to transfer again to digital later. But yeah. Also, do you guys like this little turkey that I drew for the November goals? Because, you know, Thanksgiving. <laughs> so one thing I wrote at the top, as you see, is just take it slow. And I literally just wrote that like after I was done with my goals and everything. And that's going to be my monthly intention. And I say that because it feels like it's so easy to get caught up with all the social media and everybody's just like moving on to the next thing. Like everybody already has their Christmas trees up and they're planning the December content and they're planning for next year. And while that's all like awesome stuff, oh, <laughs> I was going to say awesome sauce and then awesome stuff. While that's all awesome stuff and that's great, I feel like I'm always just three steps behind everybody and I'm never going to catch up. So I was like, man, I need to take it slow, enjoy my family, enjoy the time, enjoy the days. Why rush when then as the days go by on faster, we wish we had more time. Not to make this dark and deep, but then we get old and we're like, where'd time go? <laughs> so yes, my intention this month is just to take it slow enjoy the family enjoy the christmas decorations that we're gonna put up really soon and just take it day by day so moving on to personal goals i put that i need to start reading a damn book how many times has this been on my goal list i don't know but i need to start the damn thing just pick a damn book and read it i feel like i'm getting worked up about this but i'm just mad at myself that i keep saying i want to start it and then i don't um, I also want <laughs> I also wrote that I want to get my claws done before December. Look, if you're a loyal viewer and you've seen my videos, you've seen those close-ups of these these claws. I'll show you them to you right now. Look, they're just they're horrible. Some are long, some are short, some well, this one just got cut off as I was like getting ready for this video. And they just need to be shaped. They need to be done because these are just something else. And I put before December because um, my baby's birthday is in the December 3rd. So at least I'll have it ready for her B-Day, holidays, and all that good stuff. Okay, so make a new coffee at home. This is more like a little fun goal, but I've been getting a lot of Starbucks. Um, lately, I've been getting the skinny iced caramel macchiato since I'm trying to like eat fewer calories. So I thought like I need to start making these drinks at home. And I know I did start doing this a few months back when it was one of my original goals, but then I just stopped. So I want to get back into it and at least make one drink that I really enjoy. So that way I can make more coffee at home. Uh, planning out my weeks. So by this, I mean like plan one week at a time. 
I feel like I'm just all over the place and I feel like if I make goals for the week I will get it done more than just monthly goals like these are my monthly goals right but if I say hey this week I need to clean this room and I need to get this thing done I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier to check off the box I feel like it'll be easier to have it like week by week to have certain tasks done um, and it'll just like help stay on track so look into therapy this is a new one for me um, I always hear people talk about how therapy has helped them so much and um, you don't necessarily have to go through something to want to seek therapy but I feel like I don't know I want to better myself I want to develop myself as much as possible so um, I'm gonna just look into it do some research not that I have to have one by the end of November but just look into it see any providers um, cost and all that good stuff so yeah I mean if you guys go to therapy and stuff just let me know how it is because my concern <laughs> or like nervousness is if I'm not going through something specific like I didn't have any trauma or who knows what like what do you what do you say when you're seeking therapy like hi i just want someone to talk to i don't know so <laughs> if you have any experience with that just let me know uh, i'm just gonna like take a little deep dive into it and do some research um and then organized notion so speaking of getting my digital life organized um i did want to organize notion a couple months ago i did get it set up kind of but it's not to where i want it to be it's just a little messy right now so I want to like try to finish organizing it and then see if it's a good tool for me. I'm still not sure if it's something for me personally because like I said, I like pen and paper. But I feel like digital, I can check it more often. I can be more like on it. So yeah, my goal is to at least finish organizing it and then we'll see how it works for this upcoming year. Mom goals. Okay, so moving on to the mommy section of this. Um, I want to start a financial account for A. So I want to make a savings or I don't know what the other accounts are called. I just know there's so many type of accounts you can make for your kids. So I want to look into it and then just start one, even if it's only like a couple bucks or a couple hundred bucks or whatever it is, at least it's, you know, set in stone and that way I can start adding money to it. So as she grows older, she will have a little nice chunk of money for school or her life or whatever she decides to do. So definitely you need to look into that this month. Okay, so the next one is less phones at playtime. And I feel like since I said this at my last monthly reset, I've actually done a pretty good job. But not to say that recently, I feel like I've been like reverting back to being on my phone a lot. So I really hate that. Um, I need to just put my phone on the table or counter when I'm with her and then just focus on her, you know, for a majority of the time because I feel like I'm getting back on that, just being on my phone while I'm with her and I don't like it. And then a fun mommy goal this month is to plan Aurelia's first birthday. Her birthday is next month, December 3rd. So less than a month, actually. I need to plan out her birthday. And the thing is, uh, we live away from all our friends and family. So um, we do have some family visiting. And I'm not going to plan like a huge party or anything like that. But I do want to have some pictures taken professionally. I want to have like a little birthday cake for her. Do like a, maybe like a little arc with balloons and take some pictures, some like home pictures, you know? So I need to plan out uh, the cost of all that stuff. I definitely want to try to make it inexpensive. Don't want to spend a fortune for, you know, a little teeny tiny birthday party. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely want to make the memories and um, that's the plan for this month. And then define the play area. So you can see there's a mess back here. <laughs> this is the living room slash her play area. And I did buy some shelves off of Amazon the other day. I have to build it. So I wanna like have the nice shelving where she can have her toys organized and then I'll do the rotation thing. Um, I do wanna organize her room that is acting as a guest room right now and make that her play area slash sleeping room soon because we do plan to transition her to her own bedroom after she's turned a year old. Um, so it's a lot of home planning but yeah <laughs> we we need to get it done this house needs to be organized she needs to have an organized area and space right now it's just like toys everywhere and no matter how much i organize she tosses them everywhere but i mean it, that's just playtime. so so for health goals um i actually made my start with my health journey um recently if you didn't see it 
um, I did like a full week of what I ate and I lost a couple pounds so I was really happy about that and basically I just want to continue to track food on the lucid app I really like the app so far it's been great and I feel like I can see what I'm eating and for me personally I've tracked the calories before and it's it works for me but obviously that's not for everybody so don't feel like you have to do something like that um i'm just not good at intuitive eating and i need to be disciplined so this is how i do it for myself and i don't want to make you guys feel like you have to do this a certain way or anything like that i'm just showing you like my own personal journey and how i'm getting to my goals and with that being said i do want to track my water consumption and on the app it has like a little section to do so I feel like I used to be so good about drinking water, but lately it's just been going downhill and it's been affecting my supply. I just feel thirsty all the time, which if you didn't know, by the time you're thirsty, it's already like your body's already dehydrated. So you want to try to like not feel thirsty in the first place. <laughs> so I think I'm going to like continue to fill a water bottle that I used to have when I was pregnant and stuff. I feel like that would work pretty well for me. And yeah, just try to track all the water that I drink. So I do want to start planning out my weekly meals. In that video that I made recently, I planned out like four meals that I wanted to make that week. And I think I made like two or three out of those, but I still cooked for a majority of the week. And that was the most I've cooked at home for a long time. As embarrassing as it is, um, we've been like ordering out food a lot or when Josh cooks, you know, it's good. It's just not the healthiest sometimes. So having like a plan for the week of like, I'm going to do groceries for this meal, this meal, and this meal. And then I'm going to cook this and that. Helped out so much. And it sounds so simple when you say it out loud. But <laughs> just planning out your week with what you eat, it made such a difference for me. So I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, I'm not strict on it. Like I won't say Monday we have to eat this chicken with rice. And then on Tuesday we have to eat pasta. I kind of just um, made like a couple meals that I know I want to make in the week. And then I give myself the flexibility of like when I want to make it. And then I know we'll have leftovers on that stuff. So it's just like finding the balance. And then I want to go to the gym three times a week. I've actually been going uh, two to three times a week lately. So that's been awesome. Um, I go to my local Planet Fitness. It's actually closed until tomorrow. But I did already go once this week. I want to do like a home workout because it opens again tomorrow. And yeah, I feel like really good um, about going to the gym again. I love lifting weights i love doing some cardio on there especially because it's been getting really cold <laughs> i wanted to add running to the goals but this morning it was 27 degrees and i'm from florida originally i that's freezing my ass off out there i cannot do that financial goals guys all right so my number one goal is to not overspend for christmas and this is like a big, just a bubble. Like do not overspend on ornaments. Do not overspend on decorations. Just keep it within like a little budget that I can afford, you know, to include Christmas gifts as well. And with that being said, we definitely need to plan out the Christmas gifts. Um, again, I don't want to be spending like a thousand or two thousand dollars on stuff when we don't even have that money. So I want to plan out Christmas gifts for everybody. Um, you know, it's the thought that matters and counts anyway. So I just got to think about each person in my life that I want to give a gift to. And then just keep it within my budget as well. It's just really hard when you want to give everybody a gift and make it like the best gift possible. <laughs> and my last financial goal is no ticky takey from savings. And this has been um, a pretty consistent goal of mine because a few months back, I did start taking money from the savings, which was like a big no-no. But I haven't done that in the last few months, so I'm really proud of it. And I'm going to keep it on the November goals because this is the hefty spending months for like the holidays. So no takey takey from the savings. So social media goals. I feel like I took out this section last time, but I'm going to put it back in. Um, upload once a week. That's been like the constant goal. I feel like I've been getting back to it recently with a couple of videos I've been putting out. But I just need to, I feel like I need to pick a day and make it a goal to like upload on Fridays or Sundays and then just go from there. Because right now I'll upload a video on Friday and then the next week I'll upload it on Sunday. And at least it's one video a week, but it's just like kind of all over the place. But I mean, right now the goal is to stay consistent. So once a week. I do want to plan my December videos soon. I'm going to try to actually 
start planning them after I finish filming this. But um, I know there's like a lot of holiday type of things that we can do. But I want to have like video ideas ready to go so that once I'm done filming and editing one video, I'm not like, okay, what's next? You know, I want to have a few ideas put out. And since it is the holidays, I know there's like a lot of good content that can be put out there, like gift guides and decor stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and plan some videos out. I want to make sure it's all good to go, some vlogs, and then, you know, stay consistent. <laughs> all right. So for YouTube subs, I kind of want to reach 180 for the end of November. I'm at 162 at the filming of this video. And I mean, I feel like gaining what is it 18 subscribers it's kind of a lot um because i never see that growth it's just been like a slow growth but i do like having a number to work towards to so i'm gonna just put it out there 180 gotta stay consistent and then you know you guys will come <laughs> oh okay so the last one is a start a twitch or not a twitch but continue twitching um a couple years ago i did start twitch and i did it for like a few months and I really enjoyed it because I do play video games with my husband and my brother and my sister-in-law and some friends when the baby goes to sleep. <laughs> so I used to Twitch during that time. Well, back then I didn't have a baby, so it was a lot easier. Now the baby wakes up and all that stuff, so it's been a little hard. But I really do enjoy playing games and the obviously I love the community and like content creation and stuff. So I think I want to get back into it, maybe like start setting it up maybe stream like once or twice see how it is but yeah i put it as a quotation mark for now because i'm just not sure <laughs> and this is gonna be a busy month so uh, i'm just gonna try to fit it in there but i'm not like pressuring myself for the twitch not for not for this month but i think definitely i want to have it like ready to go at least by next year and then finish the pantry video i filmed the pantry video months ago and i have like the first half ready to go but I never filmed the results <laughs> and my pantry just keeps on getting like organized and it's disorganized, organized and disorganized. So I just need to finish filming the second half of the pantry video and then upload it because it was a big transformation and I actually enjoy my pantry right now. So I'm going to have that finished and uploaded by the end of November. It's set in stone. It's written. It has to happen. And then the last section I wrote here is home. And I need to prep the home for my in-laws. They are going to come for the baby's birthday in a couple of weeks. And obviously it's a mess. And I need to prep their bedroom, the guest room. And, you know, obviously I want to have it nice and clean, ready for them to go and come visit. So um, I'm going to slowly try to prep the house for them, clean the basement and all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's one of my home goals. Um, I do want to plan A's room. So, right now, like I said, her her bedroom is the guest room. So, I want to obviously make the room nice. Right now, it's just not baby-proofed. It's not, like, nice or at all. <laughs> so, I want to at least get, like, a little rug for her. You know, like, a little play area. Maybe I'll go on Etsy and find a nice wall stencil. In my old nursery, I had the trees, and it was so cute. It was, like, the woodland theme. Um, I don't know if you guys ever saw that video, but I do want to plan her room into like her bedroom slash playroom. So I'm going to need to go on Pinterest, look at some ideas and then just start planning that out. And then some Christmas decor. Um, we are going to buy some Christmas decorations today, but yeah, I need to Christmas fi this house. <laughs> uh, right now I just put away the fall decorations like yesterday. So I want to start putting up the Christmas stuff. Um, usually I've always done it before Thanksgiving because I just feel like you get to enjoy the Christmas decorations more. But I'm definitely not like a November 1st Christmas tree up kind of gal. That's, <laughs> that's a little intense. But like around this time frame, like mid-November, I feel like it's a pretty good time. So when the baby wakes up from her nap, we do plan to go to Walmart, look around, and then yeah, maybe buy a tree today. And that's it for my November goals. I mean, I feel like I actually wrote down quite a lot. Even the home section had to be like to the side. But I am excited to like get back into the reset routine. Um, I do have my like big planner here. And I do want to try to like plan out my weeks like I told you guys. Maybe like the meal plans here. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bright. But yeah, that was my November goal setting. 
And since we're talking about November, uh, for those US viewers, do you guys have anything planned for Thanksgiving? Because we used to obviously go to family's house and have the turkey and then like chicken because you know we're hispanic <laughs> so we don't only we don't only have like the traditional stuff but we're like we'll have pork and all that good stuff but obviously we are not living near family so it's just gonna be a little thanksgiving with the three of us and i do want to do something cute but it's not gonna be like huge you know maybe like a little home cooked meal yeah right i'm probably gonna buy some turkey but yeah i've never had like the whole traditional like apple pie thanksgiving type of thing <laughs> um but i do want to try something cute it's really us first thanksgiving and then just spend the time as family which is the point of thanksgiving anyway to give thanks um and i'm really thankful to have her in my life and in my family so i just love her so much <laughs> and that's everything for my little mid november reset we have a little more than half the month to go so i want to meet all of these goals i hope you guys plan if you haven't planned already for your month and just know it's never too late at all so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time Bye.